play our fun little game. You tell us something uh, stupid or embarrassing you did, and we try to guess if you were did it when you were a little kid or if you were a drunk adult. Yes. Uh, once again, we have Caleb from uh, Columbia. So uh, what, tell us again. I got kicked in the face by a mule. Yeah, I'm saying drunk adult. Drunk adult? All right. Caleb, what was it? I was a drunk adult. All right. Yes. I tried milking the mule oh! and it kicked me in the face. Wait, Do mules have milk? Stitches to close the wound. You said stitches, stitches to close the wound. Wow. Caleb? Oh. Oh. Um, Caleb. Caleb hung up. Oh, we don't have follow-up questions. Because did he say he wanted? To, he was trying to milk the he mule? He tried to milk yeah. it. He do, said milk. Do he they have udders the like cows? Um. Well, mules. Well, I mean, are, if, mules are sterile. They can, they are their combination of a horse and a donkey. According, then what do they feed them when they're babies? Uh, according to the experts at Google, they, female mules are known to produce milk. Yeah. All right, so, that's more comforting well, because I, I had more questions. I, I hope it was a female. Mule. I had a lot more questions. <laughs> This is the Woody and Jim Show podcast, over 1,000 episodes strong. A daily recap of everything you missed. We've got Ashley in Clarksville on the line. Are you calling about the Drake tickets? Yeah. You win. <gasps> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love how the tone changes immediately. You're in a place where you can't be loud, aren't you? Yeah, I'm at work, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Well. A quiet scream, and you're going to get see Drake with a friend, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Instead of yelling out, thank you, you can say, yes, I'll get right on that. So yeah. it sounds like a work a call. business call, yes. <laughs> yes, I'll get right on that. All right, thank <laughs> there you. There you All go. Right. I have those papers on my desk by the end of the day. Okay. She's got Drake tickets and a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another chance to quietly scream this afternoon at 540 when Jonathan gives away another pair on 107.5 The River. Trending. Here's what's trending this morning with Woody and Jim on 107.5 The River. Brought to you by Mark Spain Real Estate. Uh, the final uh, approval has come down from Metro Council that, yes, the Titans will get their new enclosed stadium uh, right next to the stadium that we have now. Uh, so that is in the works. Uh, Titans great and now head football coach at TSU, Eddie George, made a statement. Titans TSU relationship is like no other pro college relationship in the country and is getting better with time. We're so lucky to have this partnership, but I'm also just as excited about the new neighborhood this deal allows the city to build. I've been here for over 25 years now, and I believe that Nashville's best days are ahead of us. Nice. Still I'm, no date on when it'll be done. Mm, I mean, at least they should give us a year. It's going to be a while. Yeah, it's going to be a while. Yay, Titan Stadium. Yeah. I'm more excited that we're going to be able to have more concerts there because, yeah. like, rain <laughs> and all of that won't cancel the It's not going to be concerts. an issue anymore. Yeah, yeah I like remember, that. Remember uh, Garth and the Lightning last year? Yeah, oh, I was yeah. there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Zach, what you got? So Bed Bath & Beyond, we know, is filing for bankruptcy. So basically what that means doesn't necessarily mean that they're going out of business. Um, or that they're closing all of their stores. They're closing some of their stores. Um, right now, they have 360 locations, along with 120 Bye Bye Baby stores. I guess they've secured a loan for $240 million to help fund its operations during bankruptcy. Hmm. Um, so starting today, though, they will have some closing sales. So if you go to Bed Bath & Beyond, I guess today starts the sales for them to try and liquidate some of the, the funds. Um, so doesn't necessarily mean they're going out of business yet, but it's not looking good because they mm. did file for bankruptcy. So right. unless like a buyer comes along or they're somehow turning it around and becoming successful, then they will probably go out of business. But as of now, um, I guess today is like the last day to use your coupons. If you got one of those 20% off coupons that everybody has a hundred of. Yeah. And all of the sales start today. So I'm like, I'm going to bed Bath and beyond today, honey. <laughs> Opera Wait. Mills, watch out. <laughs> Jim? Love is blind. Maybe replacing Nick and Vanessa as their hosts. Especially, Everyone hated them this season. Especially season. after the reunion special. Right. But there's been things brewing, according to the rumor mill at Netflix, that they were going to replace them anyway. And the couple that they're looking to replace them with is Cameron and Lauren, who got married after the first year. They were contestants. Mm. Yeah. And that they said, should be pretty good. People can relate to them. Yeah. I and, mean, especially they've been through the process. Yeah. So they it, get it. Yeah. Absolutely. Morning, Jim in the morning, 107.5 The River. Now, uh, Jim, you heard a story about a funeral that became a hostage situation. Yeah. A good friend of mine has uh, an uncle that passed away out of state. I think it was Illinois. Prayers to his family. Yeah. Um, but he was very elderly and, you know, he was sick. It was expected. So uh, they weren't, you know, terribly taken off guard. But my friend drove up there for the funeral 
And then when he drove up there, he found the hornet's nest of fighting between family members. Mm. What were they fighting about? Well, it was actually with his new wife. Uh, we'll get, I don't know his name, so we'll call him Uncle Gus. So Uncle Gus. Uncle okay. Gus died. He had already been widowed and remarried. And so the woman he remarried uh, had his ashes after cremation. Right. Now, he was already supposed to be buried next to his first wife, a plot that his mother bought for him. Oh. And the new wife, who was still alive, was holding the ashes hostage because she said she wanted them buried with her. Oh, and not with his first wife. Right. Oh. And she, she wouldn't even give up, you know how people do those in memoriam, like uh, boards at a funeral service where yeah, they yeah, see yeah. Pic- pictures of the person from their life? Right. She wouldn't give them any pictures of him. Until they degree, agreed to Until her demands? They agreed. <laughs> yeah. That, Yikes. That, that, uh, That's wild. Yeah. But uh, they, they tricked her. Uh, apparently they said, oh, well, we need the ashes for the funeral service. And apparently uh, they did the funeral service. And after the funeral service, they said, you know, she said, where's the ashes? And the rest of the family said, <laughs> we buried them in the spot they were supposed to go during the funeral service. Yo, you know this psychopath of a woman is going to go out there in the I middle know, of the yeah. night with a <laughs> shovel oh, and just, dig that she up. She really might. And that's why my friend yeah. went back there later that evening to see. If just to make sure nobody <laughs> dug it up? It was not oh, disturbed. God. Yes. <laughs> But this is something my wife's family has talked about, like with distant relatives, that fights over the dead person Uh and their body are not uncommon. Yeah. We had one with my father, I'll tell you about in a little bit. But uh, (laughs) yeah, something very similar to that. (laughs) She held the ashes hostage. (laughs) You have any interesting funeral fight story? (laughs) We'd love to hear from you. (laughs) 615-737-9107 or send us a talk back on the iHeartRadio app. Uh, Nikki is in Hermitage. Hey, Nikki. Hey, guys. Okay, give us a funeral story. So um, a cousin of ours had passed away, and um, he was wanted. And so we got wind that the cops and the sheriff were waiting at the burial plot. So when he showed up, they were going to arrest him. Um, So my dad found out first and got him in a car and drove him over state lines so they couldn't arrest him. Oh, so... Okay, so somebody attending the funeral was wanted. Yeah. It, it wasn't the body. Uh, I thought you were saying the dead meant, person yeah. was wanted. I thought wanted. they were going to try to dig him up and cuff him. Uh, 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 are they going to, like, jail a dead <laughs> person? Be better. No. Okay. But the cops were waiting. They were waiting at the cemetery. Oh, they wow. Knew. They knew he was going to be there. So you guys avoided yeah. an issue that wow. could have been yeah. much larger. Wow. So my dad was harboring a criminal. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So he's got that going for him. Listen, you do things for family sometimes. I know. Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> Nikki, thank amazing. you so much for the call. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah, my father uh, passed away in uh, 2011, and uh, he had been married twice. He was kind of a weasel. And, um, you know, cheated on my mom. And that's a long story. But he had uh, a girlfriend he was living with at the time. So when he died and he was cremated, you know, she wanted the ashes, but he was supposed to be buried with my stepmom in like a mm. naval cemetery. Oh. Okay. And uh, so she says, that when the when the ashes are ready, I'll go get them. And so my sister said, no, I'll go get them. Because <laughs> we knew we would never see her again if she ran off with the ashes. So was there a race to the place yeah, to pick much, up the yeah. ashes? So they got like some rom-com. <laughs> Fast whatever. and the Furious? <laughs> you know, this is like my driver. worst nightmare because my dad dates all these younger girls. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. I'm like, if something were to happen, I know... I'm going to end up like fist fighting someone One of them is 10 years younger than me. Crazy. It claims yes, the ashes. Exactly. Wow. Or like claim the house or something wild and there's going to be some sort of brawl. I just know it's going to happen. You need a GoPro on your forehead at all times. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right, right. <laughs> Got to talk back. So uh, long story short, I was dating a guy that had a fiance and when I was dating him, he didn't tell me that he was engaged and about to be married. Um, long story short, he ended up passing away, and it was very dramatic death, not unexpected. Um, and the lady that was planning the funeral was his ex fiance No one would tell me the whereabouts of the funeral. Um, I wanted to go because all my friends were going, and I wanted to show my respect, and I felt like I should be there. Um, so I ended up going to the vis- not the visitation to show my, my respect, but to the funeral. She went to the funeral. She went to the funeral even after Ooh. she found out that he was engaged. Yeah. Uh, that's mm-hmm. awkward. It kind of awkward, dovetails yeah. with the funeral fight that we helped avoid 
Uh, see, my uncle Jim, kind of a player. I have named after him. <laughs> oh, okay. Which is like, what a joke that is. So player right? Jim and Pastor Jim. But Uncle okay. Jim, okay. player. All right. So when my grandfather passed away, uh, he was very popular, well beloved, and they had it in a funeral home where they had multiple rooms to accommodate all the people that were coming oh, wow. to pay their respects, right? So my uncle Jim introduces us to his girlfriend who he, she was there to pay her respects because his father passed away. Right. And then he excused himself from her and pulled a bunch of us like nephews and nieces aside and said, okay, you need to help me because I just looked out the window and the other girl I am dating is also <sighs> coming here to pay respects to Oh, my, this is like some sort of rom-com. <laughs> He should have expected that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, he was ready because he certainly had a plan. Oh, he, put he a, did. He put us into action. He goes, okay, you three, you go with so-and-so you just met, and you keep her in that room. <laughs> and then you three, I'm going to introduce you to my other girlfriend, <laughs> and you're going to keep her busy and make sure she stays in this other room. And we did it. We we followed wow. directions. You're a hero because I would have definitely like yeah. made them meet. Like yeah. I would, I would have been the conniving one that I would have like. <laughs> oh yeah. Oopsie! Did you guys just run into each other? Oh uh, well, you know we were young, so he just like promised us stuff. He promised like the nieces ponies, and oh, they were get like little race cars and stuff like that. And we're like, okay, Uncle Jim, we'll help you. Yeah. So there was no fist fights between his current girlfriends, who both showed up at the same time at the wow. funeral. What in Jim in the morning? One oh seven five. The river. Okay, quickly around the room. Let's check in with everybody. What's going through your head right now, Zach? Um, what's going through my head is the fact that it's really rude that you have to go to the gym consistently to be skinny. Like, why can't I not just drive past it and lose weight? <laughs> Zach's trying to get skinny for his vacation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's oh, so Zachary. annoying. <laughs> Planning a workout should actually burn calories. I agree. Uh, totally. If only. Mm. Jim, what's going through your head right now? My wife is showing this uh, movie at church tonight. And like I've promised her for at least a month, I said I'll be your AV guy. She wants, she's not comfortable running stuff mm. that's going to show stuff on the screen. Yeah, and I said I'll do it right from the beginning. And then like eight times since, including yesterday, she said, "So you 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 are going to help like do run the 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 movie, <laughs> right?" I said, "Yes, I'm your AV guy. I promise I will be there. I have promised eight times." She's just very nervous. What yeah. have you done in the past to make her not trust that you'll be there, Jim? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> There's no logic in, in, in there. No, mm. I'm always there for her. She's just really nervous about it because she's in charge of it. And, she wants and she's to make, a perfectionist. She wants to make sense. sure it all goes great. So you'll do that, right? I don't okay. know. Right. Maybe, maybe not. Depends on how he's feeling later. Woody, what's going through your head right now? Uh, my girlfriend, Melissa, with her help, uh, we've cleaned out all the stuff in the garage, what I used to call Mount Amazon, which is all the empty boxes. Mm -hmm. And I found my bike. And she went and got a bike at a yard sale. So we're going to be going bike riding. Ooh. And uh, yesterday, for some unknown reason, while I was at work, she decided she was going to practice bike riding in the garage. <laughs> In the garage. And she fell down four times. So I said, all right, you don't. why didn't you do outside? Because I fell down in the garage. I didn't want anybody outside to see me. Aww. So apparently that whole, yeah. you know, it's like riding a bike. Yes. You never forget. That's apparently not true. You can. Apparently you can. If you Woody's next it, Amazon yeah. package will be elbow pads and knee pads. Oh, yeah. And a helmet. <laughs> not a bad idea. What's going through your head, Ricky? I'm freaking out because we have the Taylor Swift concert soon. And I have yes. no idea what I'm going to wear. Mm. Mm. I, I just... Saw like two girls in Target talking about that yesterday. I have no clue what to wear, and it's freaking me out. And I just, I'm stressed. If you cover <laughs> yourself in sequins, you'll be good. Where are you? What, I don't you're going have to the party. Yeah, I'm not going to wear that. That's uh, not the, not I the same vibe. I don't want to be seen twice in it. Yeah. It's not a concert it's thing. It's not the same. Yeah, it's not the same vibe. You can oh, wow. borrow my glitter hat that I wore. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, Woody. I will think about it. That was a very sweet very to say. Yeah. <laughs> She'll let you know right after the concert. Yes. yes. <laughs> hey there, Woody and Jim in the morning, 107.5 The River. Stick around about 15 minutes, 740. We got your tickets to see Drake in concert. Plus... There was a little drama on the show yesterday. Jim is finally going to get his friendship bracelet coming up. <laughs> it's time for men and women to answer questions for gender wars. So cheer up, Sparky. Uh, we are ready to play our game <laughs> for the ladies in the audience. We have Sarah in Cornersville. Hey, Sarah. Hey, 
<laughs> Hi. <laughs> Speak up good and loud for us. Uh, for the guys, we have Derek in Nashville. Hello, Derek. What's up? What's up? All oh, right. hi. What's up? Okay, let's warm up our brains with a get acquainted question. Yeah, let's uh, start with Derek. Uh, tell us something that you've bought that you regret. I just lost uh, one of my Beats AirPods. Oh, uh, buds, yes. And I just, I just, I bought it for my wife, but I have perfectly good, you know, headphones that you know work fine, and lost it. Now I'm, I'm out. What, 150 bucks? So no. that's fun. I swear they make them small just oh, so yeah. you lose them. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> that stinks. Yeah. Part of their plan. Sarah, what about you? Uh, something you bought that you now regret buying? I just got an iPhone, and I absolutely hate it. Oh, what? were you an Android girl before? I am, yes. Mm. Uh, it the test switch is rough. It takes getting used to either way. So, yeah, you get an iPhone now, which is kind of like an Android phone from like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, either way, you get yeah, used to it. You'll exactly. be okay. <laughs> We're going to talk you down from the ledge. All right, uh, each of you have a screw you can use. If uh, you don't know the answer to a question, and you don't think your opponent knows it either, you can yell screw before the buzzer. We'll give them your question. All right, here we go, Sarah. Multiple choice. Is the Miller Brewing Company headquartered in St. Louis, Milwaukee, or Boston? Milwaukee. Milwaukee yes, is ma'am. correct. Good job. All right, Derek. Was the late Len Goodman a judge on So You Think You Can Dance, Dancing with the Stars, or Dance Moms? Uh, I'm going to say Dance with the Stars. That is yes, right. sir. You'd be right. Everybody's doing great so far. Tied up. Uh, Sarah, uh, what type of sports team is Ryan Reynolds a part owner of? Basketball? No. Mm. He's part owner of a soccer team in England. Yeah. All right, it's uh, still one-to-one. Derek, you take a lead if he gets this right. Women make the first move on what dating app? Ooh. Um, uh, screw. Okay. okay. Just in time. Sarah, do you know which dating app women make the first move on? Uh, Tinder? Mm, no. It's Bumble. Bumble. Good, Good use of the screw there. Yeah, Derek, your you. wife should be so proud. You didn't, he did not know the answer to that. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Or you did know and decided it was better to say nothing. <laughs> What'd you say, Derek? I said she would be super proud of me for sure. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, Sarah, you need this one to stay in the game. Uh, where on your car can you find your vehicle identification number? Windshield. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good job. You yeah. tied it up. Just, just behind it. Exactly. It's a uh, two to two. Derek, you either win the game with the right answer here or we go to overtime. All right. All right. Jonathan and Drew Scott are better known by their HGTV name. What are they called? The Property Brothers. Yes. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> he didn't know it. He <laughs> sang it. Listen to you being a HGTV announcer. Good job. All right. That means you are the winner, Derek. <laughs> Congrats. 107.5 The River. Hey there. It's the Woody and Jim Show. So you want some Drake tickets, do ya? All right. Well, give us a call right now. 615-737-9107. Yesterday at this time, uh, we presented gifts. Uh, My girlfriend, Melissa, who likes to be artsy and craftsy, uh, she made friendship bracelets for Zach and for Ricky. It was yes, a she very did. sweet yeah. gesture. Yeah, yours had a little reference to Norbit, your favorite movie for some ungodly known reason. Because it's the best movie ever. <laughs> uh-huh. And, uh, and Ricky's bracelet said unhinged. Yep. Which is awesome. And uh, So accurate. Yeah, and she asked, would Jim want one? And I said, he probably wouldn't want one. He wouldn't wear that. And so... All of a sudden, Jim got a little hurt yesterday. Well, and so she I don't says, know, "You guys told me I was hurt. No, you I, sounded no, you were hurt. hurt. I wasn't hurt you're, until you no, told you were me. hurt. You were totally I, hurt." I and was, so she said, "Well, I'm going to make him a, a friendship bracelet." I said, "You don't have to." I, says, yeah, I'm making it anyway. I said, "Don't, no, it's <laughs> this okay. is Jim's coping mechanism with for mm-hmm. his internal pain." I didn't okay. want it anyway. Absolutely, <laughs> I didn't even it's want okay. it. I didn't even want it. <laughs> it's all right. Well, you have one now. It's, this is the finished product. She made one for. With me. a special message just for Jim. And what's it, it say? Says, M- oh, wait. Oh, my God. You matter, Jim. See? I oh. matter. Oh. matter. Oh. How does it feel that you got a pity bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of a pity bracelet. And if you have to be told you matter, then maybe you don't. I don't know. This is. No, t- I, I, no this Don't is, overthink it, Jim. Yeah, it's really don't nice. Just enjoy it. I enjoy her <laughs> yeah. pity. Had to do it because 
she was forced to it. All right, let's restart that. Jim, this is where you say thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> thank and you, Melissa. She made me one too. What's yours oh, you say, Woody? Too. Mine says <laughs> You are R R so loved. So it's a reference to R R R, the movie that I've watched oh, a thousand times you. on Netflix. So you are R R loved. <laughs> Well, That's adorable. You guys, I have a confession. Mm. Okay. I didn't wear my friendship bracelet today because I knew that Jim was getting one. Oh, I noticed you had, a, you had a naked wrist over there. Nice excuse. Yeah. I think the fact that you probably tossed yours after yesterday because yeah. you're just a careless human being. Yeah. That's inaccurate. I just yeah. didn't want to be in your friendship club. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh my God! Uh, backs up my careless human being. Thing. This got aggressive really it fast. Did. Ricky, are you wearing yours? I do not have mine on because it is mm. wooden beads, and I didn't want to get them wet last night when ah. I got in the shower. Oh my God! Breaking news: Ricky took a shower. <laughs> <laughs> you but buried she, the lead, but she couldn't put them back on after the shower. I did not. I did oh, not put them wow. back on after the shower. Well, Melissa, I guess I'm the only one that cares because I'm the you, one that's you're wearing the, it. You're wearing it right Because you just now. got it. <laughs> the newness wears off. It's like a new car. <laughs> It'll eventually go away. Yes. This got really mean really fast. I love that new friendship bracelet smell. <laughs> I love how the friendship bracelets may have broken all of our I friendships. Know. <laughs> it's a, ruin your friendship bracelet. Exactly what you got. Y'all, this was all over the internet yesterday, and it's kind of freaking me out because it looks like Miley Cyrus dropped a secret album. Secret. On the same day that she dropped Endless Summer. Oh, really? Yes. Huh. Where So March 10th, 2023 is when she dropped her latest album. And on the same day, there's an artist um, that was all over Spotify and Apple Music that dropped an album. It's Their name is Clara Pierce. Okay. So you it's think called, that's really Miley? It's called Down With Me. It sounds like Miley. It does. So hmm. let me know if you guys think this sounds like Miley Cyrus or not. All right. Enough. Totally hear my lips. Like, it sounds just like her. That is Miley Cyrus, without a doubt. And I am a Miley Cyrus stan. So this <laughs> mysterious Clara Pierce, have we seen her? No. So there's not anything about her on the internet whatsoever. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and it came out on the same day as Miley's album. And everybody's saying it's like a breakup record. Um, about Liam Hemsworth. Right, right. But the interesting fact is Ricky and I were looking this morning to grab more audio of the album. Yesterday it was on Spotify and Apple Music. Today it's nowhere to be found. Ooh. Ever since that TikTok about it went uh, viral. Yeah. And then more and more people started doing TikToks about it. Sneaky. Mm. So I'm intrigued on why it was taken down. Like, why put it out? If you're just gonna take it down once people notice that it's you, give hmm. us give us that name again so that people can like sleuth this and and try to find it. Yeah, it's called Clara Pierce. Clara so if Pierce. you're on Twitter and you like see Clara Pierce and you start hearing clips, it 100 percent in my mind without a doubt is Miley Cyrus. Hmm. I've been listening to Endless Summer Vacation, her album that she dropped on yeah. that same day, yeah. like a lot. It's good and it's really good and. That totally does sound like her. It does. Here's a little clip just in case you missed it. That is Miley Cyrus. The ending part really just like it it's her. It sells it. Is um, the name of the album I'm Probably Not Miley Cyrus? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be a dead giveaway. <laughs> Pinky swear, I'm not. <laughs> 1075 The River with Woody and Jim in the morning. Quick mention, uh, it looks like the Titans will get their new stadium. Brand uh, new yeah. for Nashville. Enclosed and built next to the one we have now. Right. And when that one's done, you know, of course, they'll need another stadium. I'm so excited for my taxes to go up. Seriously. <laughs> well, they have a plan how they're going to pay for it. But, mm. you know, it's yeah. tourists. Yeah. They're going to tax the tourists. Good. Make them pay more to come see me. <laughs> It'll be the Pedal Tavern tax. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, see how it goes. Speaking of, uh, like, city stuff, uh, I got to tell you, I don't know if you've guys seen this show I've watched for the last couple of days, uh, Jury Duty. Everyone's talking about it. This show is pretty cool. 
Uh, if you had to say it was a combination of two shows, it would be The Truman Show, which is that, that movie with Jim Carrey. Yeah, where it was great being movie. filmed all the time. Yeah. Only he know, uh, yeah. he's the one that doesn't know yeah. that it's a TV show. Uh, and for jury, and it's a mixture of that and The Office. Okay. 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 So it, sounds good. It looks like a documentary of people getting picked for a jury duty for a court case, but the entire building for the court is fake. Everyone in there is fake. The judge, the bailiffs, the janitors, they're all fake. The rest of the jury, fake. Okay. Except for one guy who doesn't know that everything is fake. So they went to a lot of trouble for this one guy. <laughs> yes. And then they, but like the, the actors in it are fantastic because they've picked like people from all walks of life yeah. that you would see. Like I've been to jury duty a couple of times and these, they, like they've nailed it. And they're all just a little off or crazy. Okay, I like it already. And this guy, they like. They, it looks like they're interviewing everybody, but he's the only one that doesn't know it's a gag. Okay, and it's very realistic. One of the people, I mean, in the, one of the first episodes, uh, they're talking about everyone's trying to get out of jury duty. Right. Okay. Which is what you do. <laughs> Which everybody tries right. to do. <laughs> and uh, and there's this this one guy who's asking how to get out of jury duty, and he's like he's like a Mormon. He's got the white shirt and the tie, uh-huh, uh-huh. and uh, and so they they ask around like, oh yeah, what do you, what do you do to get out of doing? And then somebody said, oh, I I heard you can you just t- you tell them you're racist and they'll they'll make you go home. Mm. Sir, I'm I'm a uh, racist. Sir. Please have a seat. I don't know why I said that. You eliminate that yeah. the next time. Totally. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, it's they're all just like people from The Office. Uh-huh. They're very funny. Right. And they're very deadpan. But they're not actors or actresses that you would recognize. So it, There is they, only they, one. They, okay. Uh, actor James Marsden uh-huh. plays, yes. plays oh, himself. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Westworld, Enchanted, yeah, and so yeah. many other things. Uh, and he kind of plays like the jerk actor who thinks he's too big to do oh, jury duty. Nice. And so he's playing like an exaggerated version of himself. That sounds great. What, where do you find it? It's on Amazon Prime. Okay, cool. It actually comes from one of those weird named new TV channels that yeah. you know have like I don't know, I can't even remember. Hubie and Whoopi and yeah, all. exactly. <laughs> oh, James Marsden. I just remembered that he's from Dead to Me. That's why he yes. looks so yeah, familiar. Yeah. Yes, I was, he was like, I know his face, but where do I know him from? Yes, yeah, he's a funny guy. He's yeah, really funny. He, yeah, so, and yeah. he really does play a jerk. Okay. <laughs> so. All right, we yeah, got if you're looking for a today. new show, it's on oh. Amazon Prime. Woody and Jim in the morning on 107.5 The River. Zach, what's making us happy? So it started out kind of crappy because there's this 18-year-old that goes to Nashville Christian School and they posted on their Instagram and said, My name is B. Hayes. I'm 18 years old and I've been attending Nashville Christian School for 13 years. My senior prom was today, and I wasn't allowed in the doors because I was wearing a suit. I should not have to conform to femininity, femininity, femininity. Or yes. word like okay. that. Yes. To yes. attend Second my senior better. prom, yep. I will not compromise who I am to fit in a box. Who are you to tell us what it means to be a woman? Facts. Mm. So they were not allowed in their prom because they were wearing a suit. Right. So a local um, person here in Nashville actually started a GoFundMe to throw a ultimate prom for B and 25 of their closest friends. Oh, that's so cool. The goal was $25,000 within, it started yesterday. It's already at $27,465. Wow. That's amazing. So B is going to get their special prom with 25 of their closest friends. Very nice. Which is way better than having a prom with all the other people that you don't yeah. even want to be around. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be a lot nicer yeah. than whatever prom... They were going to go to. Yeah. And so if you still do want to donate to the GoFundMe account, even though they've met their goal, um, all additional funds are being donated um, that are going to be split between the Oasis Center and Inclusion Tennessee. Nice. Love Inclusion Tennessee. Yeah. Which B. Hayes hand selected those two organizations for all of the extra funds to go to. That's good. Sometimes the good guys win. Right? (laughs) That's what's making us happy this morning with Woody and Jim on 107.5 The River. We learned so much already today. We learned that, yes, mules can produce milk. <laughs> Which is so bizarre to me, considering they don't reproduce. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, what's the, the point of the milk? Yeah. Caleb told the story about it in Colombia getting kicked by a mule in the head because he reached in and tried to milk the, the mule. 
We lost him before yeah. we were able yeah. to ask more questions. But he was a drunk adult, so. Yeah. Hmm, makes it's probably sense. for the best that we couldn't ask more questions. <laughs> yeah. I, sometimes not knowing yes. is better. <laughs> There's some <laughs> questions you don't want answered. Uh, Darcy is in uh, Mount Juliet. So tell us what happened. You there? Darcy? Hello. I branded my brother with a butter knife. You branded, branded your-, your brother with a butter knife. Like, oh, I, I feel emphatically that this is a kid thing. Yep. I was thinking the same thing. That sounds like an older sister. Like, oh, because oh, definitely older, yeah. got annoyed Siblings. with her little brother. Oh, uh, yeah, brutal. I had an older sister. She used or to not do even terrible just things to being me. mad, <laughs> just like being bored. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and be right. like, I heard that you could do this, but you can't. Oh, watch me. Yeah. <laughs> like, Brandon, yeah. I mean, it's like heated up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right, Darcy, okay. what, were you a little kid or were you drunk? I was a little kid. Yes. <laughs> he saw this in a movie and thought it was badass, so he insisted I do this. <laughs> and I just figured his arm pretty fast, and we had to go to the emergency room. Oh. And 30 years later, that amazing scar is still a hot topic of conversation. Nice. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and Ricky nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. I just had I a feeling. It. I yeah. saw it somewhere. You got to do it. Yeah. He asked for it. <laughs> he, he made me do it, Mom. He did, actually, though. <laughs> he made me do it. <laughs> Thanks for listening to and recommending the Woody and Jim Show podcast. Listen to Woody and Jim in real time every weekday morning on 107.5 The River, Nashville, or live on the iHeartRadio app.